Hi guys, Chucky Boy here, bringing you an update on our little Football Manager series. Like we said, we've like if you watched the previous video, we had a joint introduction and stuff like that. We've got live games where we, you know, we're having joint commentary, co-op gameplay. But these little update videos are just going to be me talking about, you know, um, what we've done, basically. So the first thing to do is run through transfers. Now, as you can see, um, I've not had a lot of money to spend. Well, I've had no money to spend at all. And my wage bill was quite high if you've watched the previous video. So my main objective was getting rid of wages effectively. And if you look here, you can see the amount of players that I've actually gotten rid of. Now we got a decent we got a couple of decent transfers in. We got uh, Jens Jans went to standard for two point two million pound, which helped a lot. I didn't get a great deal of that back to spend. I think I got maybe two, three hundred thousand for that. To actually spend, which that I then transferred to my wage budgets to balance the books a little bit. We've got a guy out on loan, a uh, youth team player that I want to keep, but he's not going to get in first team football, so we loaned him out. Uh, then we had Jordi Boyce went to Austria Vienna for 850k. This one happened purely by, um, I think somebody made a bid for him and he, he turned. He went. He wasn't happy, basically, with that I turned it down. Um, now he is a first team player, so I would have kept him. But he really, really wanted to leave, so I managed to get eight hundred and fifty k out of that as well. Which, yet again, I transferred to my wage budget. And then all the rest that you can see there are basically youth team players and reserve team players that I do not need. Which just I basically released every single one. And that was the idea. It was to basically release money. So I'd got some wages that I could use on free transfers. So we got two transfers in. We got Tyrone Lauren here, who's he's a pretty good centre back. He actually played for Nack Breda before. If we go to the history, you can see here. He's actually away at De Grafschamp for one year. So I've brought him back to the club on a free transfer. And then we got um Mikhail, or oh, sorry, Michael Aetz, who was a goalkeeper. I needed a decent backup keeper effectively so I you know I found him a free transfer quite cheap wages and then we got two low knees we got Den Davy Klassen from Ajax who is a winger midfielder and the occasional striker basically is a bit of a, a utility player for me and you know we brought him in on loan from Ajax they didn't have they do, but I don't have to pay his wages they didn't have to pay a fee or anything any kind so it was good and then we've got Daniel Johnson, who is a youngster on loan from Aston Villa. And now he has proven to be a really good loan signing. As you can see, his stats are it's pretty good. He's only 20 years old, so... You know, that's an advantage. But if we go to see his stats here, you can see... That his passing is pretty impressive. You know, he's, he's got a decent success rate there. His tackling is pretty cool. But... The form is what what's key, which we don't see here. That's really irritating. But anyway, um, his average rating is just below eight, and he has scored a few goals for me. As you can see here, he's got five goals in six appearances. Now this is for a central midfielder. However, he has been taking free kicks, and I think he's taken a couple of penalties that I've had as well. So two penalties taken, look, uh, one scored. So yeah, one penalty, and I think it was we scored a free kick as well. So, but yeah, that's the transfers. So we're going to go into the fixtures and just run you through what we have done. So obviously the last time we last time we were in a video we had the first game of the season. Now obviously that was live commentary. That was the this game here, 2 0 a 2 0 win for me, thankfully. And yeah, like we said in the introduction video, my next three fixtures were tough. We had FC twenty, PSV and Ajax. Now obviously against FC twenty we actually lost three one. It's a pretty poor game. For me, but it was to be expected. I mean, obviously, FC20 have got a really good team. And, yeah, they they beat me quite comfortably, to be honest. Uh, the next game I was quite happy with was away at PSV. And we actually got a 0-0 draw, so I was more than happy with that. Really tough game. Not many chances, but really tough game when I got a point away from home at a big team. So, And then we went to Ajax. Which was another loss. So at the first four games we had a win, a draw, sorry, a win, a loss, a draw, and another loss. So not a great start. But that was to be expected really with the teams here. And then came 
we had a nice little run here of four games. As you can see, we had four wins. We had a 5-2 win against FC Groningen. We had a 4-2 win against FC Utrecht. This was a decent game. This one was... I thought it was going to be tough, but it turned out to be quite... You know, quite a decent match for me. Got a couple of good goals from my, my main striker, I suppose, is uh, Alex Shark. And then, obviously, we've got Johnson's penalty here. But we were playing really well at this point. Really, really well. And then we had the uh, Dutch Cup game. So, obviously, this is against a weaker team. And we managed to get a comfortable 4-0 win. We pretty much bossed that game, you know, and it was, it, was, it was easy, I would say. So, the next game was away at VVV Venlo. And we yet again we got another four nil win. This one was a dominating win, to be honest. They had maybe a couple of chances in the game, but nothing too major. And yeah, as you can see, we had we had five goals, we had four goals, four goals, four goals. So we had a really good goal scoring form in them games. And then obviously we went to Vitesse. Now the Vitesse were actually at the top of the table at this point, so it was league leaders, and we got a narrow one nil loss, unfortunately. Like most of the games, they've been pretty tight, but they managed to take the chances. I had a couple of chances, but I couldn't do couldn't do anything with it. And I say they were top of the table. So and then the last game we played here was RKC away, and this yet again, this was another pretty close game until I scored my second goal. As you can see, we went ahead, they equalised, and then I scored that second goal, and then managed to get another one. Obviously, Johnson missed the penalty as well, which would have probably kicked the game off quite easily, but, you know, turned out good in the end. We got a 3-1 win, so. so that's it, guys. That's the first little update of video, and remember to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you want to see more stuff. Other than that, we'll see you guys next time.